Hey yo, it's your boy Lucas Juan. Welcome to my channel where I try to make everything fun. So welcome to my first ever video on this channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be taking this shoe and turn it into this shoe. So basically, like I've said in the intro, I'm gonna turn this shoe into this shoe. So I cleaned the shoe already using the Sneaker Nurses Shoe Cleaner. It comes with a kit and the link is gonna be in the descriptions below. Alright, so now that I've cleaned the shoe beforehand, we're gonna start off by putting this aside. And basically, we're gonna use what is, what, what is called a shoe tree to help make the shoe firm while we're painting it. So first and foremost, we are going to prep the shoe using cotton balls and acetone. So what this is going to do is going to remove all the factory finishes and uh, old paint. This is one of the most crucial steps when repainting a shoe. Not only does it remove excess dirt and grime, it also allows the paint to adhere better so that the paint job will last much much longer. Kinda like love, the better the preparation, the stronger the bond. <laughs> Okay guys, now that we're done prepping the shoe using acetone cotton balls, um, we're gonna move into painting the shoe. Let's go. Okay, so basically guys, we're gonna be using Angelus flat back acrylic leather paint for this one. So we can have that flat finish, that matte finish. cap was hard as hell to remove. Sheesh! Just like the girl you like. Kind of hard to get. But hey, shoot your shot boy. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, back to our scheduled program. The key in painting shoes is not to oversaturate the shoe with paint. The trick is to paint in thin even strokes to avoid cracking. Kind of like gradually giving love to the shoes. Not entirely putting everything in one go just to have your heart cracked in pieces in the end. <laughs> Anyways, I used three coats of Angelus flat black leather paint with 10 to 15 minutes drying time in between each coat. You can use a heat gun or a blow dryer to speed things up if you like. A lot of you may notice that I'm not taping the shoe, unlike most shoe customizers. The reason for this is because 1. The shoe is mostly black and 2. I'm much more comfortable seeing what I have to work with when painting. It all depends on what you're most comfortable with and what suits you best. Reminder, make sure you don't forget to paint every nook and cranny of the shoe. That way, your paint job will look as professional as possible. It's all about the details, baby. Details. After we paint the leather, we will proceed with painting the canvas. I already pre-mixed GAC 900 with our leather paint. GAC900 is basically a heat setting fabric medium. In simple terms, it softens the paint for the canvas to absorb easily with the help of heat. One effective trick I've noticed when painting canvas or mesh is to dab the brush first before stroking it. This helps saturate the mesh with paint easier while using the least amount of coats as possible. I applied two coats of our canvas paint with a 15 to 20 minute drying time in between while using the heat gun to activate our fabric medium. Now that we're done with painting the mesh, we will proceed to painting the toe cap and the soles using Angelus Leather Paint and Angelus Too Hard. 
Angelus Too Hard is what we call an adhesion promoter. It helps paint adhere better to non-porous materials such as rubber and plastic. I used three thin even coats with a 20 to 30 minute drying time in between each coat. Again, make sure you've prepped the shoe properly before painting. Like I said earlier, the better the preparation, the stronger the bond. Now for the back and heel part. I'll be using Angelus' Vachetta leather paint. The same principles applies on this one. Thin and even coats and never, and I mean never forget the edges. Details baby, details. For the second to the last part, I'll be using a toothpick in detailing the word superstar on the side. This will make it pop and give it that coat and coat superstar look. By the way, shout out to my mom and dad, I'm on YouTube, holla at your boy! <laughs> Don't worry about making mistakes on this one. We can always go over it with the black paint at the end. Same is true with life. Never be afraid of failure. If you have a dream, shoot for it. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Shout out to Kobe, rest in peace. Now for the finishing, I'll be mixing Angelus Duller and Angelus Matte Acrylic Finisher to seal the paint job and give it the closest factory finish as possible. This is vital because it will protect your paint job, therefore preserving your hard work. I use two thin even coats of our finisher with a one hour drying time in between. Make sure to cover every part of the shoe and voila! You my friend have turned a shoe into an artistic masterpiece. Many hours later. Stay drip to the feet, night ticks on fleet. Fuck with it, fuck me, fuck shorty, fall free. Ain't no killers, I'm just killing all these beats. Uh. Ain't no killers, I'm just killing all these beats. Uh. Stay drip to the feet, night ticks on fleet. Fuck with it, fuck me, fuck shorty, fall free. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what you want me to do next, and share this video to your sneakerhead friends. See you on my next video. Kick a bitch shout, yeah that Glock got kicked back, hit him in the neck. That's my big bra, big strap, I don't hold it.